Hello, hello, and welcome. Today is Monday. It's November 22nd, 2021. This is episode nine in a 50 part video series based on my best selling book, Trading Wisdom 50 Lessons Every Trader Should Know. You know, when the book came out, there was a ton of demand for some type of an audio version. Um, and also, there were people who said, hey, you know, I can't buy the book uh, for whatever reason based on, you know, my country. Uh, like Amazon doesn't ship there. And so I said, I s decided to start doing, you know, this video version. I have um, eight lessons right now. We're doing lesson nine. I'm eventually going to get every single lesson from the book for free for you on YouTube. And this allows me to expand on the words in the book. It allows me to kind of connect with you to put a little bit more emphasis, um, you know, on where I th what I think needs emph emphasis. So it's really fun. I've been enjoying doing these. Uh, I'm on YouTube at, at Sheds Trading, of course. You're watching this video now. Please hit like. Uh, please hit subscribe. I definitely appreciate your support. I want you to know that. I'm on Twitter, of course, at Big Sheds. Uh, the book, Trading Wisdom, you can find it on Amazon, Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. And I actually have um, the audible version of the book coming out, you know, in three weeks, something like that, two, two to four weeks. I'm, I'm, I've made a lot of progress on it. So hopefully I'll have that for you pretty soon. So check that out. Um, just to let you know, I am a cancer survivor and I posted a memoir uh, about my, my battles with cancer. If you know someone who's dealing with cancer, I'd like to get you the book for free. I'd like to just send it to you. I'm going to email you this cancer book. So I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not trying to promote it. I just want you to know, as an aside, if you know someone, um, you know, if you know someone who's dealing with cancer, uh, you know, I was a, a caregiver and a patient. So I have a lot of thoughts and hopefully they can help you uh, and your loved one. And just, of course, Bitcoin Live. I'm a founding analyst at Bitcoin Live. It is the best in class educational platform for crypto. I do two long form uh, updates there every week. I'm really proud uh, of doing that. I've been there for over 300 years. 300 years. I've been there for three years, um, but then there's over 300 videos. <laughs> so, so go ahead and check that out. Um, kind of along those lines, also check out my um, educational live streams. I just did one this Saturday, kind of a long form update. Like if you're new to trading and you you know you don't think you're ready to maybe read a textbook or you know join some kind of premium educational service, check that out. Right, check out. Um, check out my live streams under educational live streams. I hope you'll enjoy that. The feedback's been amazing. So, you know, enough of that stuff. Let's just jump right into the book. That's what we're doing. We are doing lesson nine today. So I'll leave about the author up here. You can pause it. I'm not going to read it. I'm trying to streamline the intro. Um, but basically, I'm a chart guy, a newbie helper. Um, I've studied classical charting, Japanese candlesticks, and a past level one of CMT. So I take it seriously. Uh, I've studied psychology and risk management, so that's kind of my, my background and the background for the book uh, right there. Go ahead and hit pause. Um, if you'd like to, you can read that. I'm not going to support your patience this time. I'm trying to, like I said, streamline um, streamline the book. So what do we have today? So we did Don't Marry Your Bags last time, uh, lesson eight. We're going to do profit taking. It's a great lesson. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, Cheds, you know, how do I take profit? Where should I take profit? It's really a complicated topic. And um, it's also it's an open ended topic. I mean, there's no real <clears throat> there's no real hard answer for for where you should take profit. It's kind of based on your style. Uh, but we're going to address that uh, in the book. So that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. And once again, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. So if you're reading along from home. Thank you for your support. We're going to go to page 27, starting out with a quote, as always, when you're so excited about your trade that you send a screenshot to your buddy, that's probably when you should sell. It's, so, this one, of these, it's one of those quotes I've put out that's really resonated, resonated the most, um, and I found it's so true in my own life. Um, I have a good buddy, Big Chonis, and we trade a lot together, share trade ideas. And I find like if I'm in a nice trade, like a nice altcoin trade, a long or a short or something. And like when I feel the need to screenshot it and send it to him, it's after like a big move. And then after, as soon as I send that screenshot, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Like this is probably where I should take profit, right? It's because it's when you get so excited and you're getting so excited about your trade, the trade's overextended. And this just comes into like self-awareness. 
So when you're getting ready to show your buddy your profit and your screenshot, you know, you should think about taking profit. As I say in the book, one of the hardest things to do is learn how and when to take profit. When you're in something that's uptrending, it's tempting to just let your position ride and see if you can turn that into a home run. On the other hand, if you do not sell near resistance or supply, the price might drop quickly and then your trade becomes a hold, something you were hoping to avoid, right? So basically it's tempting to, even if you're up big, right? It's tempting to just let it ride, you know? That's how you get those home runs. And actually some of the veteran traders will talk about uh, letting their positions ride. And that's something I'm working on. But you need to protect your profit, especially when you're trading in kind of choppy market, volatile markets. You know, most of you are crypto traders. You know, we're talking about these crypto markets. They can go up and down in a minute. So you, you really want to protect your profit. And if you don't, you know, if you don't take a little profit after that big pump, all of a sudden price drops and now you're underwater. And so I say in the book, it becomes a hold, something you were hoping to avoid, right? So it becomes a hold. You forgot to sell. You've kind of married your bag. You know, we talked about that uh, last time. Let me just highlight this. You know what we're talking about. You know, you kind of married your bag last time. So um, a general rule that most advanced traders follow is that you should scale in and scale out of each position. So as you approach a major resistance, there's nothing wrong with trimming some profit. If the price dips again, you can add some back. And if not, you still have a core position to take advantage of any continued momentum, right? So there are a few things in that paragraph. Um, you're scaling into your position, right? You're starting, you, you want to put in $3,000. So instead of doing 3,000 at once, you do 1,000 and then another 1,000 later, you kind of, you ease your way into a position. And you also should be easing your way out of the position. So as the price is approaching that key level, maybe you sell a third, you sell 25%, you sell 20%. It's good. You've taken some profit, you've, you've lessened your exposure, and now every decision you know, going forward is easier. And you should be comfortable with that because if the price keeps going, you still have a position, right? It's not all or none. It's not completely taking profit. You take partial profit. You hedge yourself. You define your risk. Taking, quote, taking profit along the way makes all future decisions easier. It's so true, right? It makes all future decisions easier. As I say in the book, every time you take profit on a trade, your remaining position is smaller, and that makes each future decision easier. Now, there's less pressure because any action you take represents a smaller percentage of your risk assets, right? Your risk your risk assets, think about that. These are risk assets, you're in, you're in volatile markets. So when you reduce your position, you're reducing your exposure, uh, your exposure to risky assets. Remember that it's okay to miss out on that extra five or 10% in profit because timing the exact top and bottom is impossible, to the, difficult to the point of being impossible. In addition to making your future decisions easier, you're also lessening your exposure to holding a risky asset when you take profit. Depending on the market and security, there's always a chance that trading can be suspended or that some news event shocks the market and causes serious damage to price, right? Something happens, a news event, you know, you can't really predict that, right? So all you can do is kind of be ready for that. You have your chart levels marked out. You understand you know, the supply and demand levels, you understand when the trend is, is, is telling you that it's strengthening, you understand when the trend is telling you that it's weakening. So that's all you can do is really be ready and have your chart levels marked, but it can happen at any time, it's out of your control. So if you, if you lessen your exposure and you've taken profit, now it's like, if something like that happens, you're, it's like, okay, it's, it's less of a big deal, right? That's how you stay in control. On the other hand, so I say in the, in the book, on the other hand, you must strike a balance with taking profit too soon by staying connected to the price action. Trading wisdom teaches us that we should follow the trend as long as it's profitable, all the while looking for signs of weakening, right? So your job is to ride the trend, you identify the trend, and then you ride it. And while you're riding it, you're watching for signs, is, is the trend strengthening or the trend weakening? That's what we talked about before. That's kind of what I've touched on really in, in pretty much every lesson because it's so important. In the book, it's also important not to close out winning trades at the first sign of trouble. 
like a 15 minute reversal candle or the RSI getting too hot. To avoid getting faked out too easily, you need some type of multi-level confirmation filter that requires follow through on a signal, such as a close below a key level rather than a candle wick. So like confirmation, right? I have a whole chapter on confirmation letter later. Uh, lesson on confirmation, right? We'll get to that, um, you know, sometime next year. Um, so, you know, a confirmation filter. So like filter. So it's, you know, does does the, the wick below support freak you out or is it the close below? You have to decide, but kind of a, a confirmation like a close below will help you. You want to avoid getting faked out too easily, right? Not just because the RSI, not just because of a, a, you know, a minor 15 minute candle, right? You want to zoom out a little bit understand your chart levels and kind of understand your plan. So this is about like striking that balance. Yes, you want to take profit, but you don't want to take profit too soon. Like if you're right in the middle of the channel and things are rising and you're getting that little fake, you know, that fake drop, don't let it fake you out unless uh, that key support level has been violated. So that's kind of how you want to approach it. Um, though it's a balancing act, and here's, here's how I kind of wrap up the chapter. Though it's a balancing act, I would personally lean towards more aggressive profit taking than not because you will never go broke that way, right? That's just my style. You've got to find your style. These videos are about my style. I'm not telling you I'm the best trader because I'm not, right? But I'm telling you what I've learned and what's helped me uh, in my journey and hopefully that will help you in your journey, right? So I finished with a quote. If you're up big now, maybe take a little bit off the table. You can never go broke by taking profit, right? So I love taking profit. You know, when I'm in my when I'm in my plays and I'm trading, I move my stop loss into profit uh, almost as quickly as I can. And then it's just, there's no stress for me. I like to free ride my positions. I like to know that I've kind of already, I'm already in a really good position. I either get stopped out at even with slight profit, you know, or it turns into a, to, to a bigger trade and I make more profit. And then I, you know, I move my stop loss up, uh, you know, or down depending on the trade, right? I'll move it. Uh, you know, with in the direction of the trade, if it, you know, continues to another level. So I'll move it deeper into profit, you know, if it will continue in the direction uh, that I thought it was going to, to go initially. So those are my thoughts. It's a complicated topic, profit taking, you know, how do you do it? Find the style that works for you. These are my thoughts. These will hopefully help you formulate kind of your own uh, method, your own way. Uh, of taking profit. I'm on Twitter. I'm at Big Cheds. Hopefully you know that. Hopefully you follow me. I'm a chart guy, chart nerd, newbie helper. I enjoy what I do. Um, hopefully I've seen you on there. We've interacted and um, you know, thank you for that. Check out the book, the book, Trading Wisdom. I'm really proud of it. 50 lessons every trader should know. It's got unbelievable feedback. The reviews, you know, 4.7 out of five stars. Every, I, I, every day, someone sends me a, um, a picture of them with the book and they say, it just arrived. I can't wait to read it. Uh, or here I am on vacation. I'm at the pool and I'm reading your book. And what a cool feeling that is. I got, I got to tell you folks, what, what a really cool feeling that is. So, uh, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I really appreciate that uh, without a doubt. Uh, Kindle, paperback, hardcover, and the audible version, the long awaited uh, audible version will be coming uh, at some point, you know, in the next, in December. It'll be coming pretty soon. I've been working on it. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I keep recording the chapters. You know, I want it to be right. Um, but that's coming. Keep an eye out for that. If you know someone who's dealing with cancer, patient or caregiver, reach out to me on Twitter. I'm going to send you this book for free. I'll just email it to you. Um, I went through cancer lymphoma. Um, I was actually diagnosed about four years ago uh, this week. So I'm three years cancer free and I'm blessed, um, blessed to be here and even just doing these videos. So if you know someone going through that, let me know. I'm going to reach out and I want to get that book to you. If you're interested in learning real technical analysis, check out Bitcoin Live, the best in class educational platform for crypto. I do long form videos twice a week. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. Even on vacation, I do not miss these updates. Um, I take it very seriously. There's a huge video library and I'm just one of many contributors. You get kind of an excellent selection. Uh, really just a great team. Look at this team. Uh, what a wonderful team. So I'm just really proud and honored to be part of that. Check that out. Description in the video. I'm on Twitter. That's where you're watching. I hope you like this video. I hope, like you, hope you subscribe to it at Chedge Trading. Check out this playlist. This is episode nine. Go ahead and binge watch. Watch all nine episodes. Get into them. 
Let me know your feedback. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, you really enjoy them. And it's my pleasure to do it. Like I said, when I first put out the book, people asked for an audio version. Um, and there are people who can't buy it. There, there are certain countries that Amazon doesn't ship to. So this way I can get, yes, I'm selling it, right? I'm not, it's not completely altruistic, but this way I can get it out to folks. It's a way for you to get some free content. I'm enjoying doing it. I can expand in my thoughts. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. So that's kind of where we're at. That's what this is. This is um, lesson nine in the 50 part video series. I will have all 50 lessons out for free for you on my YouTube channel. You'll just have to be patient. It's gonna take a couple of years. I'm doing one every three or four weeks. So that's that. I really thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I appreciate all your support. Uh, until next time, all right? Big Cheds out.